down here in Bartow, Florida, checking out the Jeeping with Sheriff Grady Judd. Checking out all the toys, all the Jeeps, all the all the hot rods. Getting ready for tomorrow. We can put them in the mud, get them all nasty and dirty. I've heard about Jeep with Judd for many, many times. And it seems to be getting bigger and bigger. So I mean, from what I've seen, it means the Jeep community is starting to grow even further, which is fantastic for anybody that likes Jeeps. So we figured we'd just bring it out here, show it off. When you see this kind of presence out here and this kind of turnout in such a little town, it shows you that we obviously have a very, very, very strong presence now, which is pretty dope. Air the Jeep up some more, man. It's like a street legal side by side. You gotta go ham on it. We want to thank the city of Bartow for allowing us to be out here tonight. Those folks at Newman Tractor really provide us the equipment that we need to make the courses as wonderful as they are, so we appreciate Newman Tractor. I you, when I first came to you guys, nobody believed, and you guys believed in this cause. It's a real, really important thing. 2,000 Jeeps on the ranch. Is that phenomenal? About 6,000 to 8,000 people. Hey, my name is Carlton Turner. I'm with the Bull County Sheriff's Office. Uh, we're gonna take the guys out to hit the ranch, to hit some trails, and see what it's all about. Yeah, I think your pitch you can get like mid 50s, the front and back. Really? And then the roll just depends on your lift and stuff, but about 30 it starts getting your attention. Because at like 27 you're like, uh oh. <laughs> We are participating here at 2020 Jeeping with Judd. We're just excited to be part of an event that gives back to the community. As you can see behind me is a Sani SY215. Each year we participate by donating Sani excavators and Sani wheel loader. It's just for a great cause and uh, of course I get excited because all the Jeeps I see going through the trails and see them coming up through the obstacle courses and whatnot. We like uh, racing up the uh, course, see how fast we can go up and see if we can break something, but I haven't broken nothing yet, so. So you have that, that means we, fun then. Yeah, that means we gotta do it faster. It gets bigger and bigger each year. This is my third year, your fourth year. Yeah. And every year, more Jeeps, more people, more kids. They have a cool kids thing now. It's, it's awesome. And everything goes to charity, so that's another, yeah, definitely. Big bonus of this whole event. Does it tear it up real bad when they flip? Uh, just kind of depends on how they land, I guess. Yep. That one. They flipped it. Yeah. The operator Ernie on the machine has been doing this for 40 years. He's a magician with it. No, I'm impressed with it. The Sani? Yeah, I've run every backhoe we've manufactured. I've run Cats, John Deere's, Kamatsu's, you know. And this one impresses me. The Sani impresses me with the capabilities and the strength. I can't believe the strength they have. I went through that clay, pulled a, pulled a bucket in, and it just loaded it up like it wasn't even doing nothing. We appreciate you guys letting them have it out here, and it's a great benefit. And you guys are a good bunch of guys, so throw that out there. This is the only way you keep it going, keep it safe. What made it safe is we had our seatbelt on and all the safety equipment and this whole crew that's here. Out. We, outstanding, outstanding. Most abused Jeep this year. <laughs> Most abused Jeep, you hear it? Most abused Jeep. I'm gonna get that trophy, it's solid gold, 24 carats. Don't forget that. My name's Doug Tanner, I'm a sergeant with Polk County Sheriff's Office. I have the opportunity to work for Sheriff Judd's great leader and great sheriff of Polk County. Six years ago, I had the vision and went to a couple of Jeep events and I said, you know, we can do that in Polk County. We can bring that to Polk County and I think we can do a lot of good. We started the first year with 435 Jeeps. It's grown now to over 2,100 this year. We've raised three quarters of a million dollars for charity. It all goes to the Polk Sheriff Charities. I sell these setups for 4x4 accessories. USA from Venezuela. I'm Officer Ken Goble, Sarasota Police Department, and uh, we like going to places that sponsor charities and things, and we like our Jeep, so just coming out and having a good time. It's a great event. First time being with Jeep and with Judd, definitely coming back. I can't even believe this. This is phenomenal. I've yeah. never seen this many Jeeps in my life. Wombat, they like crawling over rocks and logs. My wife, she says, you break it, you'll be working to walk into work, so I have to be careful. <laughs> Any trail's a good trail. It's
it's Mr. DS18. We're here at Keeping with Jug. We had a, been having a long Psych! Flow with the Ruby, we like it loud! DS18, we got this boy! We've had Vintage Donuts for uh, three years. Grady Judd being a part of our community is really important to us. It's a safe place for families to come and have fun. And they get to experience something as a family that they might not get to experience other places. And just knowing that everything we do is helping somebody, maybe just not right now, but in the future. And the, the feeling of helping people that don't even know they're being helped yet is probably one of the greatest feelings that you can get.